Hey guys, I am back with part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. In this video, we'll be doing all of the interior furnishings for the first floor of the house. Alright, so before we actually do anything, be sure to grab some pillar quartz blocks and some stone buttons. And I forgot to actually do the door frame around this back door here. So add some pillar blocks, whoops, hang on. Some pillar blocks like that, so four in height. And then the corner block, two sideways, and then the stone buttons on the corner. Okay. So now I think I'm going to start, maybe we could start in the kitchen and dining room area. Then we'll do the bathroom over there. We'll do this living room area. And then we'll head on through this hallway and do this laundry room, this bathroom, and then the closet. And for the garage, I'm not going to do anything in here except for some lights in the ceiling. So actually, let's grab, we could get rid of these. And let's get sea lanterns and iron trap doors. And I'm going to start by putting a bunch of lights in the ceilings. So I'll just start maybe like right here in the corner, put another one over here. So I'm going to go through and do all of these lights. And you could just do them until you feel like it is lit up enough. And I'll see you guys when I have it done and we'll start doing the furnishings. All right, so I went through and did all of the lights on the first floor of the house. So there we go. Did it for the bathroom, this main entrance here, all of these rooms here in the garage. Okay, so now we'll start, I guess we'll head back to the kitchen and dining room. We'll start doing all of the furnishings here first. So yeah, uh, keep in mind, I think I still wanna do a chandelier going down right here where the entrance for like the staircase area so maybe here we'll, we'll do that first we'll have a chandelier like right in front of this window i just got to figure out a cool design to do and yeah we'll get on to doing that all right i went ahead and grabbed some end rods white stained glass panes green stained glass panes and black stained glass panes and we're going to start using all of these for the chandelier Alright, so I'm going to start with my white stained glass panes, and I'm going to skip towards the back three blocks. So we have one, two, three. So make sure you're on the fourth block, and we're going to place four white stained glass panes right there. So we're three spaces away from that quartz right there for the ceiling. Alright, now for the corners, we're going to go around this white stained, like the white stained glass panes, and go in every corner like this and place one so it makes a cool little shape like that then let's have our white stained glass pane we'll have one there in the corner and there in the corner is that we'll have an end rod and then a green stained glass pane all right maybe we could make these green instead there we go and then I really don't know what else to do. Let's have an end rod down here. Is then a white stained glass pane. Is then we'll have an end rod here. And a, another white stained glass pane. Is then we'll have another end rod. Is then we'll have green. Is then we'll have white around that. All right. Is then right here. Ooh, I'm not sure if I like how that connected. What if it looks like that? Is that we'll have green here? Ooh, that actually looks really cool. All right, there we go. Maybe we could add a little bit more up here. So let's have white going around each side of this green one. And on the two sides for that green one. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I actually really like that. And then let's do it one more time here. So we have to have green 
Oh, hang on. How are we going to do this? Okay, so we have that green one. So yeah, we'll have white around each side of that. Is that we'll have... Okay, so we need maybe a green one there. And then white on the, on the side of that. Oh, I forgot. I have to have an end rod there. That's why I was confused. Let's actually flip that around. Okay, how does that look? I actually think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to leave it. Want to know what I actually totally forgot to use? Are the black stained glass panes? Let's have one in the corner there and there. We'll do that at this bottom part as well. And for this middle part, and we'll leave it at that. Maybe we could have a black one here in each corner at that top part. There we go. Okay. I think that's all good. Now I think that chandelier is done. I think it looks really nice. So let's head on to the kitchen and dining room area. All right, now I gathered up blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, furnaces, hoppers, and levers. Okay, the first idea that I have planned, we're gonna start with the sink. So we're gonna have a block of quartz right there in the corner. Is that we'll have a hopper on that side and on that side. So it's kind of like a corner sink. And then you could look out each window, maybe if you're washing dishes or something. So I think that's pretty cool. Then let's have one, two, three, four, five more blocks of quartz there. And we'll have the refrigerator on the last two. Let's have an upside down quartz stair to the left and two quartz slabs. Let's go over here. We'll have another one, two, three blocks of quartz. Is that we'll have two, two furnaces. Is that we'll have another three blocks of quartz. Or maybe we could have a kind of breakfast area here. So let's add another two to that. Is that we could have a stair facing in that direction and then another stair on top of it. So they're like high chairs. And then let's have a big island so we could try to fill up as much space as possible. Let's bring this over one block actually to the left. Right there. Now it's all even. Okay, so let's have an island. So we'll leave two spaces on that side and three spaces on that side. So three spaces here, two spaces there. That we'll have, uh, we'll actually have upside down court stairs here. All right. We'll actually flip it around. So I have these facing up. Is that what I have? Uh, four quartz slabs like that. And then we could have blocks of quartz. And then upside down quartz stairs is there. And let's bring it over towards the left. One extra block. So it's three blocks wide. Okay. Maybe we could have a stair facing in that direction. Same with this side. So it adds a cool little shape to the island. And there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. All right. And now we're going to have like the dining room table right around here. I'm just trying to fill up as much space as I can think of. So I'm thinking we could have some cool lights hanging down right here. So let's have white stained glass paint. Well, let's grab the end rod and white stained glass panes. And then let's get maybe some iron trap doors. We'll switch out the levers for now. All right. Let's have a glass pane there and there. Is that we'll have, we'll actually have another one. Is that we'll have the, whoops, that we'll have the end rod. Is then, can I have an iron? Oh, yes. That we'll have an iron trap door like that. Oh, let's actually have it lower. All right, let's bring down another white stained glass pane. Is then an end rod. And how low is that? There we go. And then we'll have iron trap doors here. Maybe we could add one more on each side. So this is kind of a cool little modern feature. I think it looks cool. I've never done that before. I think the features I'm adding right now are way too modern for this house. Like I should save some of these for an actual modern build, but I think it'll be good. All right, man, maybe I should just build another house, a modern house, <laughs> if I was thinking of ideas like this. Okay, maybe after we get all the rebuilds done. 
let's delete these two blocks of quartz here or uh quartz stairs and we'll bring down six blocks of quartz like that is that we're gonna have sea lanterns here let's just get rid of the end rod we'll have two blocks of sea lanterns and then we'll wrap around some quartz stairs around the edge of this and then a slab in the corner and then slabs around it i'm trying to think of which i have that no that's actually good yeah is that we'll have iron trap doors to cover that up i was thinking it was a little bit too tall too high up but that is actually good i like it Let's use the blocks of quartz. We'll place two right there. One is there. We'll place slabs on these. So let me grab maybe birch trap doors. That's normally what I would use. Well, let's actually grab item frames and then birch trap doors. Okay, let's have three birch trap doors here. And then we'll have two on top of this. We'll have one on each side of that. Two right here. Two right here in between all of the chairs like that is then here in front of the hoppers we'll have an item frame so you have to crouch and place those and then we'll have birch trap doors and flip them around so these look like drawers now you could get a wooden pressure plate i'll just use the spruce one and we'll put it right here as that is going to be a cutting board Let's put maybe a flower pot on this. Let's grab a flower pot and I'll use ferns. And I'll have one here and here. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. What about right here? What could we have? Maybe another flower pot. Let me grab powered rails. We got to crouch and put these on the furnace. All right. I can't think of anything else here. It still looks empty to me. We could have like a storage unit here. Blocks of quartz and then let's get quartz slabs. All right. Let's have a storage here and then slabs on that and birch trap doors. Okay, I think that's good. We'll have like a table next to that. Let's put quartz stairs. And we'll have three all curved together next to it. And on that, we could put an end rod with a, um, I'll use a white concrete block. And we'll put a lamp here. And then on that, let's actually get an item frame. We'll put one there and then a birch trap door to act as a drawer. Then let's get a flower pot and we'll use blue orchids and we'll put these. We'll actually put a flower pot there and then we'll put a, a maybe like a zombie head, something a little bit different right there. Let's have a carpet in the floor here. So we'll carve out a rectangle like this. We'll fill that in with sea lanterns. And then light gray or light gray carpet and maybe just some gray carpet. And we'll have a cool pattern with these right here. I think that looks good. So there we go. This is starting to get filled up a little bit. It's still really empty and open. Well, I can't really think of anything, but something else on this wall. We could grab the quartz slabs and have something here to make it look like there's some shelves like that and that it doesn't really block the view of the people that are sitting here too much because the other block was all the way down there so i have some shelves like that and then on those shelves we can maybe have a skeleton skull and a flower pot with a blue orchid so we'll have the skeleton skull there and then the flower pot here okay now i guess we'll start doing the dining room table and now we're gonna have the dining room table right around here so let's grab quartz stairs and quartz slabs we'll leave two spaces there at the right i'm trying to see should we have it in this direction no i we'll have it in this direction so two spaces here at the right and two spaces there at the back so we have to have a upside down stair there and there Maybe we can make this table three blocks wide. So let's actually bring it over a little bit to right there. 
is that we'll have three slabs there, upside down stair on each side, a slab in the middle, another row of three slabs, another upside down stair, slab in the middle, another row of three slabs, and then three upside down stairs on this side. That is a really big table. How many people could we fit? That's really big. Kind of fills up a lot of space. A lot, like too much space than I wanted. So we'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll leave it three blocks wide, but let's just bring it in to right here. So I have upside down stairs here. And let's see what that looks like is that we'll have another upside down stair here next to that. All of these other blocks will be slabs now. What about this side? Need that to be a slab. Okay, there we go. And now, let's bring this chair over to that side. Have one here, here, and here. Let's make that a slab. Uh, it doesn't really matter, you can't even see because the chair is still there, so never mind. All right, I think that's a little bit better. Oh, wait, we got to fix that. There we go. I kind of like the size of that one. Let's grab iron doors and place these behind the stairs. And then you could get an item frame and place them on the side of the stairs. So it looks like they are an armor rest. All right, that is all good. You could grab weighted pressure plates to act as an actual plate for eating, like that. We could put two flower pots here in the middle. So we'll do a flower pot with a, we'll do two flowers, Lily of the Valley and the corn flower, the two newer flowers, like that. That's pretty cool looking. And we could maybe have more lights like we did there over here. So it kind of evens out the room a little bit. Does it, these don't look so out of place now if we add them over here maybe. So let's bring down glass panes right here. So three like that. And then right here. And then we need an end rod. And then the iron trap doors. like that all right now it kind of all works together all right well i think that looks pretty cool we'll have a carpet right here in the middle to try to fill in more empty space so maybe we could just have a carpet similar to the one we already put right here so we'll just grab the same colored blocks let me grab that let's uh fill this in with sea lanterns And then a cool design with the carpet. Oh, I didn't want that to connect. How's that? That looks cool. So there we go, we have some carpet there. That filled in a little bit of space. It looks like it at least. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the kitchen and dining room area. Are we actually able to place water in this or no? Hopefully we can. Let's see. Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, it blocked it off. Okay, good. Uh, we need we need to patch that up. There we go. All right, so we're not gonna be able to put water in those. So we'll just leave it as it is. And I think that's everything I wanted to do in here. For the most part, I think that looks good. This is kind of what I had in mind. All right, so that's good. Let's head on to the bathroom now. Blocks of quartz. We need some quartz stairs, quartz slabs, then a button. Oh, let's grab the levers and we'll use these for the sinks. So we have to have a lever pointing towards the sink right there and right there. Okay, now we're done, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we have, we, then we need an item frame, tripwire hook, hopper, we'll leave it at that for now. 
So grab your, oh, this is five blocks wide. I did not know that. Grab your quartz stairs. We could have made this smaller. We'll place four on this side and curve them all around. Or if you want the bathtub to be bigger, you can make the bathtub five blocks wide like that. So it's a little bit bigger than what I would normally do. We'll leave it actually, we'll leave it. Then a tripwire hook item frame behind it up against the wall, like on the wall. Then we'll have two shower heads since it is a bigger bathtub now. So right there and there, item frame behind it. And then let's use white stained glass panes and we'll cover up, maybe we could do each side. So we'll make it four blocks in height and we'll just leave an opening in the middle like that. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. Not really too sure about it. We'll just make it look more like it's a sliding door. So we'll add three on that side. And now we'll have the bathtub right here lined up with this window. So a block of quartz, quartz slab, upside down quartz stair, a stone button. Let's switch out that white stained glass pane with a weighted pressure plate. And we'll put it right there. So we don't really need double sinks, but this is a good opportunity to have them. So I'll go ahead and have them. Normally you only have double sinks in like a master bedroom, like a his and hers. But in this case, I'll go ahead and do it since we can, because why not? Actually, no, I don't want to have a sink right here. Well, I want a sink right here so we could still place the lever pointing down with the item frame. We can't do that here. We'll have to have one like that. So I'll just have one sink there and then we'll have just blocks of quartz. All right, there we go. And then let me get these birch trap doors. I'll use, I'll switch out the item frame. I'm gonna place these in front of all of these blocks as well as crouch and place it in front of the hopper. So now let's grab a bucket of water. We could, oh, whoops. We could crouch and fill this in with a bucket of water since that trap door is there. We'll fill in this bathtub as well. By the way guys, this is a complete freestyle right now. This is all a freestyle, I did not have any of this planned, this bathroom, this entire interior for this house is going to be completely a freestyle because the original build is completely different. Also all of the designs for the furnishings for the original build, I personally think turned out really bad. So yeah, I'm just going to completely freestyle it with some of the more updated to like basically my skill level now. Okay, let's have a N rod and then we'll use, let's see, we'll use cyan concrete. So the walls right now are blue. Let's have a cyan. That's too much blue. I don't like that. Let's have white concrete. Okay, then we'll have a flower pot here. Let me just clear all of this. And we'll have a flower pot with... Uh, I guess we'll have a blue orchid. I don't think that'll be too much blue. I think that looks good. All right, and then one last thing, we can maybe just fill this in with sea lanterns and cover it up with a light blue carpet. And I think I'll leave it at that for this bathroom. You could put some paintings on the walls if that is up to you. I'll leave it at that. I almost forgot, I wanna add a bush right here in the corner near the dining room table. So let's have, maybe we could use one of these new blocks for the bottom. So let's just have a spruce wood block like that. And then oak leaves, oh, whoops. Uh, oak leaves and jungle trap doors. All right, there we go. And then, I don't think we could really have any paintings on the walls in here, so we won't. Maybe right here, we'll do that. Let's have sea lanterns, and then we need the painting. Go right here. I like that one, all right. So now this side of the house is all done. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I wasn't sure of how I was gonna make it because of how big the area is, but I think we filled it in pretty good. All right, now let's head on to this side of the house. After we do this living room and all of the rooms in here, these are gonna be really quick, all of these rooms. So we just have the living room, all of those rooms near the hallway, and then we'll be done with part six. Then we'll head on upstairs and do all of the furnishings up here, which are like the bedrooms and bathrooms. So let's head on to the living room now. I, abs I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do here. So let's just try to figure it out. 
Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have a TV on this wall right here. So first let's grab blocks of quartz. And then we'll have maybe quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And then we need black concrete. Oh, we also need a stone button. So let's have four upside down quartz stairs there. And then we'll have four blocks of quartz with another row of four, so it's eight in total. Stone button to the bottom left. Let's have quartz slabs on top of that TV. Then we'll have one, two, three blocks of quartz on each side of this. And let's curve these stairs on each side. And then we need slabs on top of those blocks of quartz. We can maybe add a little bit more on each side. So let's have upside down quartz stairs. Oh wait, I want storage here. So let's have one there. So one there, one there. We'll do the same on this side. And then maybe we could flip this around. And then we'll have a slab on top of this. And then we'll have more blocks of quartz. And then a slab. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then we could have maybe something right here in the middle. So it kind of rounds off the middle a little bit to like shape it out. So it looks a little bit better. So I have another block of quartz there. Then we'll have upside down quartz stairs and then slabs on top of that. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Now what if we had a stair like that instead? There we go. I like that. We'll leave it like that. Let's not do any more. There we go. Okay. Now, let's grab a flower pot. Let's try to get some color in there since a lot of it's white. I'll use the corn flower. Well, actually the corn flower is a little tall. You see how it kind of gets cut off? I don't like that. I guess we'll use a fern. I didn't really want to, but that's like the perfect spot for a fern, I guess. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's grab item frames. And then we got to get a disc. I'll use the either the black or the white one. Those are probably the only good one. Actually, let's try to use red. Some, you know, there's some speakers that have a little bit of color in them. We'll, we'll switch it up a little bit from what I would normally do. I think that looks nice. Okay. And then let's have two item frames there. Is that we'll put a birch trap door and we'll like flip it around in there so it looks like a drawer. Okay. And then we won't have anything on these unless if I can think of anything, but I don't think we'll have anything. You could have more speakers, but I feel like that's a little bit of an overkill. All right, I think that's a really nice TV stand and everything about it. I think that looks good. So now let's try to have some couches facing that. We'll use white concrete. And then some quartz slabs. Actually, let's use light gray concrete or gray. Let's use gray. I normally don't use gray. And then we'll have quartz slabs. And then we also need quartz stairs. So let's start the L shape right here. Three spaces from that side. Or we'll leave four spaces. So we'll have three spaces from there. We have two blocks. Then we left four spaces back here. And then we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll curve this. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll curve that right there. Let's have slabs to fill this in. Let's actually delete that and we'll wrap and delete that. We'll wrap slabs right there and then we'll fill it in there. And then maybe right there. And then another block of court or a block of gray concrete. I think that looks good. And then let's have another couch here. Maybe just like a straight one. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll curve that block and that block. We'll have a couple, so four slabs there. Let's have a table 
right here like that all off center and then let's grab uh sea lanterns let's get some color in here so green carpet then gray carpet and um i normally use like either gray and light gray then like a color so i guess we'll do that and then light gray so let's go around the edge of the couch on all of these all the way around we'll just cut out a rectangle and then we'll cut out all of the wood blocks within this shape so all of this here okay let's fill all of this in with sea lanterns okay i have that all filled in let's switch to some green carpet and we'll have a little bit of color on this side like is that for that corner then we'll have the gray over here next to that okay and then let's have light gray And then maybe we could get some more green over here. Let's actually bring this light gray there. Then more green right here. All right. I keep running into the lights up there. I think that looks good. We actually filled in that space pretty well. Okay. And then let's have some tables over here. So quartz stair. And then we'll have another quartz stair there. Then a stair right in the middle with slabs like that. Let's go on this side. We'll have... Let's grab blocks of quartz. We'll have six like that. Two upside down quartz stairs. And then another six with slabs on top. And then let's get birch trap doors. And cover up the front of these blocks. And then there in the middle, we can maybe just have a flower pot with a skeleton skull. So we we'll use the wither skeleton skull that will have a flower pot with the azure bluette. All right, so that's something a little bit different. Over here, let's just have a lamp right in the middle. We'll use green concrete to match the color of the carpet. And then we'll have a skeleton skull on each side. And then we'll have a flower pot with a blue orchid on the corner. And we won't put any like drawers on there unless you want to. Let's just do that. Ida frame with a birch trap door. So I'll have one here and here. Okay. Maybe we could do... Yeah, we'll do two more here as well. Add a little bit more to this. Okay, now I want to put some bushes in the corner. So we'll grab that spruce wood block, oak leaves, and jungle trap doors. We'll have one here. And one over here. All right. And then maybe we could have one more thing on this wall. Maybe just uh, some shelves, actually. Let's get quartz slabs and stairs. We'll have a quartz stair like that. And then a quartz stair, whoops, right there. Let's have a flower pot, a fern, blue orchid, lily of the valley, wither skeleton skull, and regular one. So I'll have a skull there, and maybe right there. And then we'll have a flower pot with the fern, and then a flower pot with the lily of the valley. We leave it at that. We don't want to overdo it. I think that is all I'm going to do here in the living room. I think we filled it up pretty well. Let's have another painting here. We might need the extra light. I'm actually going to get rid of the potion after I put a painting here to see how bright it actually is. That's actually the perfect color for this side. Okay, let me see how bright it is. All right, I, I could see. I think that's pretty good. This side is about the same. So yeah, that is actually good. We'll leave it exactly how it is. I'm, I'm actually really, really liking this house, guys. I'm thinking, I think it turns out, it's turning out really good. Wow, I'm actually really happy. Okay, then let's go down this hallway. We'll do all of these rooms and we'll leave it at that for part six. 
And in part seven, we'll be finishing the build. So let's do this hallway and these three rooms here. All right, I'm gonna start over here at this laundry room. We're gonna get blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, item frames, and a disc. Okay, so switch to your blocks of quartz. We'll have two right there. Then we'll have the item frames on the front of those with a disc. So that's the washer and the dryer. Let's have slabs on top of that. And then two more slabs there to the right. Then we'll have slabs on the top of these blocks and on the top of those, those blocks. Let's go on this side. We have the quartz stairs, which I actually don't think we're going to need. Let's just have more slabs here. Go up. We'll go up, have more slabs here, and then one more row here. And then maybe we could just have a little bit of carpet. So just four blocks like that. Let's cover this up or fill this in with sea lanterns and we'll cover it up with carpet. So I'll just use light gray. Okay. And then let's grab a bunch of different colored carpet and place it on top of all of these slabs so it looks like pieces of clothes. Okay, I added all of the carpet on those. So there we go. We have the laundry room done. Very simple. Let's head on to this bathroom now. Okay, I gathered up the blocks, most of them, for the bathroom here. So we have blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, stone buttons, hoppers, tripwire hooks, levers, weighted pressure plates, and white stained glass panes. All right, I'll start with the quartz stairs. We're going to have the bathtub over here where we ended up placing the pillar quartz in the last video, or in part four. And then let's have white stained glass panes here at the left. We'll bring it four blocks in height. We'll bring it over two like that. Let's have, we need to, we'll put the trip wire hook first and then we gotta put an item frame behind there. We'll put another one there. Okay, then let's have the sink on this side. So I have two blocks of quartz on that side. We'll have the hopper here and one block over there. Let's have a block of quartz there, a slab, upside down stair, stone button, and the weighted pressure plate. Okay, let's grab the item frames. We'll put these behind the trip bar hooks. Make sure to put the lever, oh wait, yeah, let's put the lever pointing down towards the hopper and the item frame behind it on the wall. Then you could get birch trap doors to cover up the front of that sink. And then let's also grab a bucket of water to fill in the bathtub and the sink. All right, make sure to crouch, fill in that water. As I go over here and fill in the bathtub. And there we go. Let's have maybe a lamp with a green concrete block over here in the corner. And then we'll have a fern with like a azure bluette over here. And we'll leave it at that for the bathroom. All right, I think that looks good. Maybe have a painting on the wall. It's up to you. All right. And now we have this closet, very simple. Let's just grab, I'll use quartz slabs. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And maybe we could curve them on the sides like this. All right, and I really won't put anything in here. We could put actually some chests. So let's grab those. We'll put like two here, one over there, maybe two up there, uh, one in there, and then we'll have two right there, whoops, and then one, two right there. All right, and now we just leave off at this hallway and we'll leave this very simple. So let's get on to doing this. Okay, I just grabbed some sea lanterns, light gray carpet, gray carpet, brown carpet, and orange carpet. I'm going to start with the sea lanterns. We'll cut out a big rectangle going all the way throughout this hallway, and we'll fill these all in. So we'll fill, whoops, didn't mean to go that far. We'll fill all of this in, and then we'll do a cool pattern with all of these carpet, all of the carpet. And then I think I'm just going to leave it at that for this hallway. So let's start with the light gray, maybe down here. Then let's do the brown. 
is that we'll do the gray is that we'll have the orange and there we go you could add some here we'll add a quick table right here let's do whoops block of quartz then two quartz slabs and then we'll use flower pot skeleton skull maybe a fern so we'll do a block of quartz there with four here three on that side three on that side two slabs in the middle flower pot and then a skeleton skull and i'll leave it at that for the hallway and now that is all i'm going to be doing here in part six Okay guys, that is going to be it for part 6 for this tutorial on how to build a large suburban house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 7 and we should be finishing the build.